Salutations, boys! This is Captain Bugman speaking, and welcome back to Let's Play Cube. In the last episode, actually, I'm probably going to have a lot of in the last episode, we just solved puzzles. But this time, we found out... I don't think we actually found out anything, because we found out either we are a married man from Colorado Springs who has been sent by the Earth to go save the Earth from this thing that's going to crash into the Earth in a few hours. Or, or this is all just a test. It's all just standard scientific testing. Oh god, I'm going to have to get one of those. Okay. And that's going to help me move things around. Okay. Uh, then move that. Okay. 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 Uh, or, the, like I said, or this is all just a test. You know, portal kind of stuff. And we're just, uh, you know, we're just some schmuck who got, ax who got uh, dragged into all this. Actually, I don't even think I need this. Oh, no, wait. Yes, I do. Shrink you. Jump you over the blue. Oh, no! No! Oh, but I had that that time, too. I, ha I know I had the, the rotating directions right. Okay. So I'm going to want to make it go down. Okay, I can do this. make it go down yeah okay there we go room complete also the woman who was telling us we we're a married man trying to save the earth is a uh, I'm back in range this person fingers crossed Look, something Novak mission control think that if you have lost your memory me just giving you little details about yourself won't be enough to spark anything they want me to read something more specific. Something very personal to you. So, I want you to know. I'm only reading this because you wrote it to yourself. Okay. It was 3 p.m. on a Sunday. You were upstairs at home. A teenage boy broke into your house. Uh-oh. You thought you were away on vacation. I don't like where you this is going. Downstairs with your gun. You shot him in your living room. Only he wasn't trying to rob you. He was passing by and saw a fire in your kitchen. He broke in to try and put it out. He was young and stupid, and probably should have thought of a better solution. But you assumed the worst. You assumed the very worst, and you shot him. He was paralyzed from the neck down. He died seven years later, alone, at night. Penrose St. Francis Hospital. I'm orbiting out. I hope that helped you. Fingers crossed. You know, as she was reading that, I had a thought. What if, uh... Because apparently we were shot into deep space to go deal with this thing, and we were out for 15 days. Is this thing breathing? probably not gonna get an actual answer to that so we were out for 15 days ah see we now have to mix our colors together that's gonna be awesome so while we were out uh isn't it like possible that I don't know we could have um I mean we might have gotten amnesia sure but what if we got I don't know dementia instead like we're here oh god dang it no now, ah, uh, but I just messed this one up completely. What, what if we, uh, say, start hearing voices instead of, uh, losing all of our memories? I'm just, I'm just noting that that's a possibility. So, so the guy who's, you know, yelling at us, their name's like, 
some string of numbers and uh, uh, something else. Something else. I don't remember what I was getting at there. <laughs> name's a string. Oh, and that this is all a test. Uh, yeah, what if he's just like a figment of our imagination? I'm just, I'm not saying that that's correct. I'm just putting that out there as a what if. Oh, good thing I caught that. Okay. Shoot you across. There we go. Is everything open now? Cool. Because one of these people's probably correct. I don't know if either one actually is, but one of them probably is. Either Mr. Madman yelling at us, or Rank Novak. Because I don't know if she's a commander or a captain. I keep forgetting that one. I don't trust you. But there's nothing else to explore in this part, so trust you I shall have to do. You listen. I know you can hear me down there. She's lying to you. She's a liar. You're not where they say you are. They'll leave you alone to die in the dark. He says as we go into the dark. Okay. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey. Wherever we are just got really musical. So, here's possibly figment of my imagination man back. Let's call him, uh, let's call him Tom. Just cause I can't keep calling him figment of my imagination man ah uh, yes this area okay now we have to turn on parts of the stage okay Open that up we'll be able to kinda see everything and by that I mean we won't be <laughs> nah this place is just way too dark to like see anything Oy. I hope you can hear me. The lights on the outside of the cube have gone dark. Mission Control think that's good. They say you must have hit it somewhere that hurts. So keep doing what you're doing. I'm just moving through it. I haven't even... I know it's tough being alone out there. I've been alone here on the International Space Station for over a month. Going round round and round the earth. And after a while, it messes with your head. <laughs> the truth is, if you leave a person alone in the dark long enough, they'll lose themselves. Oh, maybe that's why I'm hearing voices. I'm orbiting out of range. Keep going. I'll be back soon. But yeah, I haven't really done anything. I've just been moving through the dang thing. I haven't, like, activated any systems that are going to really mess things up. Or anything of the sort. Okay, stand on this guy. Move me upwards. There we go. Also easy. I don't really think I've done anything yet. Okay, so there's a red. There's a blue. There's some yellow. That's where the purple are. Okay, so we don't want to stand on this guy. Unless I miss him completely. Yellow is over there. Blue is right in front of me. Blue is... Okay, at the right level, right in front of me now. Are gonna be oh so they still work I just have no idea where they are if they're dark okay I can work with that 
Oh, god dang it. I think I already see it. Yeah, it's a sloped down. No! I'm gonna have to do this in the dark. Okay, where are you? What are you? Oh, there you are. I can kind of see it. Oh, no, no. Ah, oh, but I messed that up. There we go. Everything's fine now. Oh, okay, so they all just go back. Okay, where's the yellow? Okay. Okay. And then we extend the yellow. Get back to red. Extend that guy. I guess it's so that we don't trip over this as we try to move forward, huh? That's probably a good idea. Whoa! Hi there. Okay, ah, oh, but there's a lot to this one, isn't there? Okay, I think this is what I want to do. Although I think currently I have completely... Pretty much complete... Yeah, I have pretty much completely closed it off. So what I think I want to do instead... Is move it this way. Get it like that. Okay, maybe purple doesn't work. I don't know, I can't see in the dark. My, my vision is not just able to allow me to see dark things. Com to see in pitch blackness. Ah, good. Whoa. I think I just turned the thing... Oh, hey, I think I turned everything on. Nice. I can see again. Whoopsies. <laughs> Okay, well, looks like we're going back to a lit area. That's nice. Is this Madman? Madman Tom? I don't have much power left. I've been listening from inside my box. They say you're out in space. You're not. You're underground. They buried you alive down there so they could test you. They test me for test what? You and test you until you rot into dust. And they do something to your memory. They did it to mine. They don't want you to remember who you are because if you don't know what's happening, you'll have faith that it will end. You'll have faith that someone will let you out of the dark, but they won't. You have to rip that faith out of your skull and replace it with truth. Or you'll die down there. Okay. Also, I notice I can just move through these. That's You'd think you could put on some collision for those guys. It's behind the scenes, huh? What am I finding down here? Ah, broken, but still operational things. I can work with broken yet operational. Oh, wow, really broken. The point is some of them having no color. I don't even think this one's gonna... Yeah, if we get this one restarted, it's just gonna roll downwards, honestly. It doesn't even have anywhere to go. Push me to completion. What? Oh, wow, okay, this one looks big. Okay. There's a place for me to stand on here, but can I manipulate stuff? Oh, but, okay. I see how this one works. Oh, it's a giant tilty rolly maze thing. Oh, that's so cool! We tilt it. <gasps> okay, so we can only tilt it in one direction at a time, but still, this is awesome, and I love it. This is cool. Okay, I'm gonna wanna... Oh, whoops, that's the wrong way. No, tilt it that way. Tilt it that way. Oh, that's not right. No, god dang it! <laughs> tilt it down, tilt it down, tilt it down! Ah, oh, but it's okay, of course I missed that. Tilt it down, 
and tilt it down. Oh yeah, I got it that time. Okay, that's not gonna happen again. Actually, just, yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do is make it... Okay, now we're gonna wanna do this. Okay, make it flat. Good, good, it is flat. Now make it go down. Yeah! They had to complete me too. Awesome! I am making it through these strange, not quite levels. Whoa. Dude, this reminds me of that room I just passed by. Like, that's where we would enter, and this was the giant doorway that we'd have to go into. Except I went over there instead. Because we went around in a circle. Okay. Strange. Still don't know whether to accept Madman Tom or Captain Novak's story. I don't know if one of them is the correct story. Maybe they're both. Maybe I'm just imagining both of them. Although the further I go. I don't know! Because it could just be weird space object stuff that's cut like those rooms those rooms right there are a good indicator whoa there's a bright light just whizzing through here ah yes I remember okay so that magnetizes we want the green thing to go over there excuse me good thing I can move through light but yeah like maybe I'm just imagining both of them Does that make... Oh, the door does not close. Good. We just have to turn it on. There we go. But yeah, no, there's there's definitely two sides to this story, and I don't know which one's more correct. Oh, we can just move it up. Okay, fine then. Oh, that is just fully extended. <laughs> I'm keeping this from reaching the top. <laughs> hey, I get up there so I can keep moving on. Hup! Alright. Alright. Up. Oh, here's Novak. Okay, fingers crossed you can hear me again. I have good As news. always. Actually, two pieces of good news. Uh -oh. We started to see a definite effect on the cube itself. Parts of the outer layer seem to be coming apart. Whatever you're doing in there is working great. The second piece of good news. Mission controls say you're almost close enough for them to contact you directly. So we're going to organize a link up to your wife. She is dying to talk to you. Just keep going, and we'll make it happen. I'm orbiting out of range again, so good luck. And be careful. You know, if we're getting close enough for Mission Control to be talking to us, shouldn't we be getting close enough to, um... Uh, what, where was my thought going with that? For her to be able to talk more than, like, two seconds to us at a time. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong direction. Okay. There we go! See? This room wasn't even that hard. Where's the door? Oh, it's up there. Just cause I'm weird. Ok. 
Okay. Oh, wait. I think I know what I need. Yeah, I need to boost up. Wrong direction. Are they linked now? Oh god, don't tell me they're linked now. Okay, good. They aren't. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't worried. And now we're good! See? That room wasn't hard. None of these rooms are really hard. Okay, let's see here. Butts. <laughs> okay, um, or maybe when it's attracted upwards I could do that. Hmm, what's this for? Oh, different... Oh, this is gonna make me allow... This is gonna allow me to attract things in different directions. Okay, so what I'm going to want to start with is that's the wrong direction, but fine, it has to rotate twice around anyway. Move you over to the wall, yes, that's it. Let's move you upwards. Nope, oh, but that's, that's the wrong direction again. Okay, move you back. Ah, oh, butts, except that, right. Okay, well. Shoot, again! It's just the wrong direction. Uh-oh. Shrink you- Ah, oh, butts, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> okay. Move it back up. Shoot. <laughs> oh god dang it! Stop that! Actually, that might be exactly what I need. Move it over. Move it up. Move it God! Ah! Rotating! Why is rotating so hard? And then... Stop. And start. Okay. Now then, let's move you up. No. Hang on. Wait. How does this end? This ends like this. Okay, I get it now. Uh, this moves down three. And then... Why are you, st why are you hanging me there, dude? Butts. Okay, now we're... God, God, this guy, this guy is messing up my plans! Alright, we're gonna move you downwards in a very controlled motion. If you could ever understand what controlled means. Down, down, no, butts! Ah! Ah, uh, and if the game could actually like work th like this, this right here, the game is not working right. Ah, <sighs> and it is frustrating. But fine, you want to play this game? We can play this game. Game. 
No, I, I can't actually play the game at its own game like this. Okay, no, I need to let this go. Stop that! Would you just go up and down this... Where are you catching on on this thing? Except if I move it up, it then... Okay, you know what? I got a better idea. Sorry this part's going to be a little long, but this room is trying my patience. Something fierce. There we go. There, we just had to attack it from a bit of a different angle. Is that Tom? All right, let's I listen. I haven't got much power left, so open your ears. Doubt is like a tiny plant trying to push its way towards the light. But as soon as she sees it poking out of the dirt, she pours on more soothing words to kill it. You're making the cube fall apart. You're going to get to talk to your wife. You're going to get out. You're going to go home. You're going to save the whole earth. That's her poison. And you're drinking it. If you want it to stop, you have to stop it. Stop what? I have to stop what? Uh-oh. This floor is a different color. Oh, that turned black. Where am I going? Cube, what are you doing? Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad too. Oh, this is out. Oh. Head drama. Is my suit blue now? I think my suit was blue earlier. Also, there's a lot of wires now. And crumbled QB bits. What are you? No, like, seriously, what are you? Broken, apparently. I have faith you can hear me. You always do. So you really, say. Really no word on talking to your wife yet, but it'll happen very soon. Don't worry. Other than that, no news on my end. But I figure talking to you is therapeutic. <laughs> so you have no one else. What I said before about how being alone out here can mess with. How? I want to know. I can't talk to Mission Control about it, or they'd tell me short. I figure, with your radio out, you can keep a secret. Sure. What is it? Fifteen days ago, I was on a spacewalk on the outside. Fifteen days, you say? I was replacing one of the old communication antennas. The sun was disappearing over the western edge of the earth behind me. And it gets so quiet out there. So dark. Sometimes you can't be sure you're there at all. I finish the job. I start to move away. And, uh, and I hear this voice. Only it's my voice. Not in my mouth. Not in my head. But outside, next to my ear. It's the only way I can explain it. Voice said, it said, God is dead. <laughs> and it scared the hell out of me. Yeah, no kidding. I grabbed my tether and pulled myself back into the airlock and shut the door. I 
know it's just my brain keeping itself busy. And that's why we do isolation tests before we go out. But Christ. I'm orbiting out of range. I'm sorry. Keep going. Please keep going. Girl has some issues. Well, okay. I can understand that, though. Okay. So I am way over time. <laughs> Ah, oh, but just all that that all that just happened, man. Just I don't even know what to say here, cause it's all these mind games. This Tom's trying to tell me Novex, you know, Novex a fraud. She's just trying to keep me here to do all this stuff, and I have to stop doing what I'm doing in order to like counteract her. But I don't need I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just going through each room. I'm just trying to move forward cuz otherwise I'm going to stuck here and be stuck here and die of starvation or something. But at the same time, Novak is doing her best to like tell me she's real and I don't know. I don't know who to believe at this point. And I don't think I'm going to get an answer soon. I'm not going to get an answer now, because I am wrapping it up anyway. Thank you all so very much for watching. God, I just... The addition of dialogue has really helped this game, I gotta say. If you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, this is Captain Bugman, signing off.